guys, welcome back. It's another edition of Movement Monday. Today we're gonna to review briefly the difference between minimalist versus maximalist shoes. That's a question I get all the time in the office. You know, what are they? What's the difference between the two? And so we're gonna just help you differentiate and uh, kind of understand how they're similar and how they're different. Minimalist and maximalist shoes, while they sound like they're two extremes, it's actually on a spectrum and they're very, very similar in a lot of aspects. Uh, the one way that they are similar is a number called the heel to toe drop that we reviewed before. That is the difference in height between the heel and the front of the foot. And so if you search heel to toe drop, that will give you a number in millimeters of your shoe. And minimalist and maximal shoes both have the same in terms of the, the number needs to be around eight millimeters or less to be considered both of those styles of shoes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and write that there. So that's how they're both very similar. It might be eight millimeters or less. But they're also very different in a lot of ways. Uh, maximal shoes obviously means that there's more cushion on the bottom of the shoe versus a minimal shoe. And so for example, a maximal style shoe could be something called like the new style of hookahs out there, right? A lot of ultra marathoners love wearing the maximal shoe because it just gives a little bit more of a, a cushion feel, a little bit more endurance with all those miles that they're running and just makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. And so with a maximal shoe, the, the height and millimeters in their heel versus the height and millimeters in their forefoot are gonna be really high, and both of them are gonna be high. They might be in the 30s. For example, like it might be 37 and 33 millimeters. And that sounds really um, different, but if you subtract the two, it's still four millimeters. So that's gonna help induce a style of running called forefoot striking. Both shoes try to, to induce a style of running called forefoot striking. And forefoot striking just simply means landing more on the front of your foot. They're both trying to induce more of the traditional style of running running where we kind of use more of the muscles of the back of the calf and the Achilles to kind of generate the, the forces instead of relying on uh, passively landing on the back of the heel. And so both are very, very similar, but obviously Maximal Shoe has more cushion. And so another style of Minimal Shoe could be the Vibrams. Everyone loves the Vibrams. They were really, really popular and they still are popular. They're the ones with the five webbed uh, toes, so you can actually put your your toes individually into certain pockets, and it feels like you're essentially running on, like in socks or, or nothing, and that is really really gonna strengthen the feet a lot more because you're going from wearing decent cushioned shoes to uh, very very minimal, if not nothing. So those are two different styles or two different brands, and there's obviously many other brands out there, but these are two extremes in terms of minimalist versus maximalist shoe. Um, to kind of sum it up, eight millimeters or less is considered minimalist and maximalist. The cushion or the stack height of the heel versus the front of the foot, um, those are where there's some of the differences in, in between the two, but they're both inducing a forefoot strike. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. I mean, there's so many different styles of shoes out there. It depends a lot on your foot arch, and it depends on what the cushion that you prefer. And so it really just depends. I Again, we, we recommend that you get assessed by someone and you uh, get your gait analyzed before you just pick into a shoe because uh, shoe wear can definitely cause a lot of issues, cause a lot of injuries that you might be feeling. And so it's definitely recommended that you see a professional to get that checked out a little bit further. And so watch our other video as well in terms of just an overall review of the different styles of, of shoe wear itself. This is more of a comparison between lightweight shoes versus cushion shoes. So hopefully that helps a little bit, guys, and we'll see you next Monday. So thanks. Bye.